how's it going guys we are back here in the garage um, we are looking at the 2004 5 something like that it's that model um, TRX 450R um, still trying to diagnose the no spark problem excuse me it's a little cold out here um, yeah like I said we're, we're still trying to diagnose the no spark problem we are having a little bit of difficulty figuring that one out um, a little recap from, from you know why it's it, you know what happened um, we changed we fixed some bare wires there in the back um, we did it the sloppy way the first time and apparently that did something so now we are trying to diagnose the overall problem with why we don't have spark so we've uh, we went back and we fixed those wires correctly um, and those are in the next to the air box um, I can show you if you'd like. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right. Um, sorry, this tripod's a little stiff. Let me try to find them. Right there. That little piece right there. Well, there's some wires that come up um, next to the air box that we uh, did some stuff with just to kind of tidy it up a little bit. So in the middle of the screen here, sorry, this camera's broken. Um, the screen got shot, like, uh, like not hit, like hit with a rock. So it um, the screen's a little messed up. So I'm I'm trying to like focus it in without being able to actually see it. <laughs> so this piece right here, that's called the coil. Um, what that goes to is a piece. You know, I'll try to move it down there. Make sure I can see it. Yeah, right there. That is where the stator goes, which is the spark piece. That's what spins with your flywheel and gives you spark. All right, should get balanced. Okay. So what we gotta do here to test this out? This here is the coil. This is what will spin and give you some spark over here. Um, I know this coil is not bad because I put it on my buddy's bike that's got the same bike um, and the coil is okay. Um, so what I've narrowed it down to is either the stator, which is what we're testing today. Um, it's not that. I don't think it's the spark plug because I've used a couple different ones. I don't think it's the CDI, which is kind of like the computer of the bike. Um, it could be the kill switch that has the actual, you know, the button on it for kill uh, could be that, um, and then it could be the. I think that's about it. So we're narrowing stuff down. We're 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 we're, we're moving along. Um, so to test this, what we have to do is we take our multimeter. Um, I have a multimeter right here. I don't know what uh, the Craftsman. It's really old. Is my dad's. We use it on a race car. Um, so what we're gonna do here is take her out we're gonna put it on ohms uh, we're gonna put it on 2k ohms and get him to zero out okay I guess the air just has resistance um, I don't know how I'm gonna get you guys to see this um, right now it's just being dumb because it's in the air if you touch them they go to nothing um, so that's whatever it's just really sensitive might have dropped it and it's you know Never been right since. So we're just going to set this here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, well, actually, we're going to set it here. I'll, I'll show you guys what it says. So what we do is we disconnect the negative terminal off of the uh, uh, coil. We put our tester in there. And then we take our positive off and we put our uh, tester in there. All right, and I'm not reading anything. Uh, we, you should get a reading off of that, um, and I'm not getting a reading. So I don't think that our. I think it's. It might be that our our stator's bad. Uh, one more test that we can do is to keep it on the same stuff. Uh, if if you want to see that we're not getting a reading, make sure you can see that. Yeah, right there. So not getting a reading. It's the same as it was um, with it out. Uh, we, you know, we can try a more sensitive setting. Does not change anything. 
yeah. So it's it's you know that's just what it is. All right, now we're gonna go to AC volts. Um, I guess we'll go to 200. So what, what, the last thing, let me get this to sit in here, right? The last thing we can do to test this, if I can get it to stay, is you take this, get it on there, if it would stay. Put it on there. Oh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> I apologize. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah. Okay, so make sure you guys can see that. So what we did is we put the same things on the on the uh, the terminals. I wrote, I wrote some stuff, some notes down. Um. So you put the the two probes on the uh, positive and <clears throat> excuse me you know the positive and negative uh, and you turn the motor over and it should read some volts and that will tell if your stator is cranking out any volts so we're going to test that right now All right, <clears throat> so we are getting uh, 0.8, I believe. We'll, we'll change the setting a little bit lower. Maybe we can get a little bit clearer of a reading. I'm going to try to get this where you guys can see it. You guys can see that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I need to get a new camera pretty bad. This one sucks. Well, I mean, it's a good camera, but it's broken. All right, so I'm going to crank it over, and hopefully you guys can see the, uh, the voltage we're getting. All right, and the connector came off. So as you can see, we are not getting a high reading whatsoever, uh, which is not good. Well, I guess it's kind of good because now we know what the problem is, but it kind of sucks because the stator is not cheap. So uh, one thing we're going to do here um, is, well, okay, not necessarily. Uh, there could be a short in the switch which is on the handle, uh, like on the handlebars. We will do that next uh, episode, I guess. Let me move this around again so you can see what we're talking about. All right. Um, so it could be on the switch, which would be uh, right here. That switch, my buddy broke it off. Um, but it could be there. There could be a short there. Which uh, would be much cheaper than the stator, which is uh, which is in the uh, like in the oil where you put the oil. It's that plate. We can do one last test, which is to, um, and this is just kind of a last last ditch effort for it to not be the stator. Uh, what you do is you take off these, so you have your coil right here. You got your spark plug wire, all that stuff. Uh, you check your spark plug wire. Make sure you can see that. Uh, now I clipped mine and made a little bit more wire exposed. If you can see that, I hope, because uh, it was kind of torn up just to eliminate that variable. Um, so, but I did eliminate that variable, so that is not a problem anymore. So what you can do now is um, you can either grab this one and run it through through here like that or you can 
do kind of the same thing with this one. Um, all the all that would do is just kind of test your resistance um, or your your ohms through through the coil. Since I know this coil works, it's not the coil's fault. It's uh, something else's fault. Um, I'm having a bad feeling. It's going to be the stator. Um, you know the pulse generator down there um, and that just produces your spark on the bike um, so this is the quest for spark <laughs> uh, that's a, a good test on the stator the stator is not working properly that's apparent um, so not good news but that's necessary news I guess I was really hoping for a positive reading <laughs> Had my hopes up. So we're just gonna put all this back together and uh, then move on to the next test. Um, I don't have, my friend is not here today with the other four-wheeler that is just like mine. So we are going to have to test the switch and the, um, test the kill, the kill switch another day. We will show you how to do that as well. Um, so, that's it for today. Uh, coil's okay. I believe my CDI is okay as well because um, we tested that on his four wheeler. So, till next time, we're going to be testing out our um, switch for our, like a kill switch. Um, and then, if the kill switch is fine, uh, it's going to be the stator. And we'll have to do a replace on that video. So, appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, have any suggestions that we should do, let us know, and uh, we'll get those done. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, you hit that subscribe button. Uh, you know, keep help, help our channel to spread, and um, hope you enjoyed it. So, thanks.